Jamaica's Javon Francis, aka Super Donkey Man, shines in the NYC. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your comments. After this, a sports analysis where we take a look at and break down the races. So stay until the end. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. At the recently held USAFT NYC Grand Prix, Jamaica's very own Javon Francis, aka the Super Donkey Man, put on a dazzling display of sprinting prowess over the men's 400 meters. In fact, he was so impressive that, in my opinion, he stole the show at the NYC Grand Prix. At the starter's gun, Donkey Man went out at an average pace and was in the mix, I would say, up to the last 100 meters. But maybe uh, 120 meters to go, he turned on the turbo jets, people and in a miraculous display of running down the leading um, runner pretty much almost caught him at the end i mean it was really a remarkable dis display of um, stamina strength and sprinting prowess the winner tyler terry who won in a time of 45.70 must be commended for holding his nerve as he must have heard donkey man aka javon francis pounding pounding at his neck so to speak right down to that line francis came second in a time of In the end, uh, it was Tyler Terry of the United States who won in a time of 45.70 with Donkey Man, Javon Francis of Jamaica, second with 45.73. Uh, Derek Mokaling of Russia ran 46.55 to take that third position. And in fourth, representing the United States of America, is, was no Noah Williams who ran a time of 46 point seven five to take that fourth position now i must concede that the time of uh 45.70 or 45.73 for second place is not as impressive as michael norman's world leading time of 43.43.60 but that's not the point this run is the point this last 100 meters and this 400 meters by javon francis shows his tremendous potential on hitting that final 100 meter curve coming into that home threat Javan Francis turned on the afterburns people um, and ran from maybe the fifth position right to the wire and almost got that first place uh, the difference of course being you know one ran uh, 45.70 the winner uh, Terry and Francis of course ran uh, 45.73 that's how close this was it was pretty much as close to a photo finish as it could possibly be I was just super impressed with this run and it it it, it speaks of great things to come we all know that donkey man have it 
but this was such a remarkable run i just had to keep looking at it over and over and having to share it with you now i confess it's really hard to watch this race and not be impressed by this run by javon aka super donkey man um like i stated i've watched this race repeatedly on a few occasions and i am still impressed watching it now it could have just been that um francis realized coming off that curve that he had so much more left in his legs the truth is um for the first 300 meters of the race he was just doing just enough to stay in the pack and maybe that was what himself and his coach had discussed stay there stay um as close as is possible we know that donkey man can turn on the afterburns he does have that what they reference as a kick um, an exceptional kick and he does have the speed the 200 meter speed uh, but it was such an unusual way to run the race and i wonder what would have happened if he started to run maybe 10 meters before he put on the afterburns i would really love an opportunity to ask him what were you thinking was this what what yourself and your coach decided to do stay close to the pack and then in the last 100 meters because you have that strength and that speed because he clearly has a tremendous amount of speed you just turn on the afterburns and you go for gold um you know is it that because i know that at this point in in the season we're about two weeks out from the national trials here in jamaica and about five weeks out from uh world championships most of the distance runners and the one lap sprinters are still working out different techniques that could work and that's why you realize that uh, christopher taylor has ran different types of 400 meter races we saw shauna miller weibo do something completely different recently i believe it was was it that prefontaine you all remember I, i'm not remembering right now <clears throat> i'm not using a script i'm just speaking as i normally do but i'm saying that it could be that they're just trying to find uh something that's comfortable for him uh to run but i had to talk about this this was for me outside of akeem blake's tremendous um run um you know taking down uh bracy as well as pressing uh the world athletic champion christian coleman to the line this run by uh javon francis aka super donkey man was truly super and um we had to feature this uh in um today i i i had to this this i kept going back to this race and watching it over and over and over again such a tremendous talent i cannot wait to see what he does at nationals hoping that his time he needs to get below that that magical 45 number because as i said the time was not as impressive but the run itself was tremendous and um i see great things to come for the man we call donkey man super donkey man aka javon francis now don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at peter lloyd world the goal is twenty thousand subs when we do that go and hit the notification bell uh hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and you got to leave a comment kings and queens you are royals bless up